Hi and welcome to Deep in a Bunker, where today we're going to be taste testing outfit food. And by outdate, I mean a minimum of a year. So there I was going through my uh, prep stores and I discovered a few outdate items uh, such as milk powder, uh, curry chicken, pate, etc. I thought, ah, oh, that's not good, but can they really be bad for you if they're out of date? I mean, a year? Is it much? Well, I can confirm with things like milk powder, yes it is. I had uh, Nido milk powder, full fat milk powder, 18 months out of date. I decided to open it, opened it off camera and drank it um, a few days ago and it did in fact give me gut ache. The worst thing was it didn't smell rancid, it didn't taste rancid, but I say it gave me a little bit of an upset stomach, sort of like uh, someone who has celiacs or whatever, uh, bread intolerance, wheat intolerance, um, and you know, for a day afterwards, mm, just not good, that's all very indigestion feel. Um, you know, so in that SHDF, I wouldn't have it. So what I've got instead is a fully skimmed milk, which is basically um, watered colored milk, you know, milk colored water. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. This has got an expiry date of August 23 on it, so I'll let you know how that gets on in 24. Anyway, enough of this lactose libration. Let's get on with what we came for, the taste test. Starting off with a pate. Uh, okay, so you can may or may not see February 21. So a minimum of a year out of date, as promised. Open it up. No bulging in the can. La la, all good solid. No gas escaping. However, open it up. Whee! Well, it looks fine. That absolutely looks fine. Absolutely fine. But how does it taste? I mean, I will be very gingerly tasting this, you see. It tastes like pate. Nothing wrong with it at all. I mean, that's amazing. Hmm. Thumbs up. Right, let's just get a little drink of water for the palate. So that one, again, just a, um, a pate, chicken liver pate, some generic Polish brand, I don't know. Anyway, to one side. Let's try now the curry chicken, the El Mundo pulled Indian Madras chicken. Right, I've got two tins here. One's a little bit unreadable. It says something like 21 on it. So I'm just gonna say it's about February because the one beside it is in fact 31st of October, 2020. Let's try that one first. Excuse me, cork out of the way and open it up. Once again, smells all right. Uh, well, yeah, the tin wasn't popped in anyway, etc. Well, and here we go, pulled chicken dress style. Really, I mean, it could be the curry, it could be like the curry spices hiding it, but I don't know. It, um, it smells fine. Let's see. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's really spicy. Um, yeah, I'm a bit more dubious about that because like the, the um, all the spice in there could be masking the rancidness, but I can't, also really can't get it. There's no, you know, nothing. It smells clean, it smells good. Take a little drink of water. Clear the palate. So what I'm gonna do now is um, stop the video 24 hours and I'll see you tomorrow to see if I have any ill effects at all. Because I'm not gonna be stupid, I'm not gonna eat all the tins, um, but like I said, it's just a taste test and see if any reaction. It should occur within eight hours. See you tomorrow. Mm. Hi, and welcome back to Deep in the Bunker and welcome to tomorrow, of course. So yesterday as you saw, I was testing out uh, chicken liver pate, and uh, pulled chicken madras style um, uh, tin food. So yeah, minimum year out of date and more than that on one of them. Maybe it was the pork pork was uh, 2020, October 2020, so 18 months on that. Real bad, but you know what? Um, it didn't do me too much wrong. I had a little bit of gas, but I'm not sure if that was like nervousness of uh, eating this out of date food or um, it was actually bad, I don't know. A little bit like something there for maybe an hour afterwards, but it went, it went quickly. 
so I wouldn't really recommend eating it long term out of date unless your storage is good. I mean, I checked the tins, they were fine. No, no dents, no, um, no nothing to them. So I knew the seal was good, there was no bulges in them, but the taste itself, like I said, probably masked any rancidness on the poor chicken. Uh, but the chicken liver pate, um, I was more than happy with that. Really was, I could have got some saltines out, spread on there and be happy. So, um, I'm happy, uh, I'm alive, and I hope you're happy that you're joining me on this little adventure. Mm. So uh, what I'd like to do next time, um, if you come with me, will be to uh, prolong the life of tinned fruit through jamming, jellying, whatever you want to call it. And this is literally to prolong the life of um, my preps. You know, this is what now, uh, April 22, so literally out of date, uh, around the corner, cool. Uh, a few days ago, but I'm not concerned about that. You know, I think a uh, shed load of sugar, a shed load of um, everything, it'll make a lovely uh, jam and jelly. I made it last year with fresh, and I'm hoping, like I say, with a tin, it'll be even easier because the uh, sugar syrup content in there anyway. So until next time, and I hope you stick around for that one, this has been Deep in the Bunker, saying take care, stay safe, stay sane.